quite a bit of rigid tackles and rigid fights. Mm. You could also be choose to be rigid forever. So I noticed President Museven had a bit of a lot of panic actually with owner of Mbabas. I said, oh, why don't I exploit this? I said, for me to campaign for you, give me karatas. Mm. Because I don't want to go to these things and I'm mistaken for a serving officer. And then uh, and I go to the Karatas. <laughs> Ceremony. <laughs> Relieved and actually saluted out of the army. Mm. And I got a certificate. You can imagine if I was a serving army officer, would I be here now? Mm. Ugandans need to understand the circumstances we are operating. Imagine you went to the bush voluntarily. You did all the contributions. Some of us lost legs. Although we hear people saying, yes, but you can imagine all that is suppressed by some laws which were created in our innocence. For example, when I stood in Rubabo, President Museven kept telling me, who gave you permission to stand? Fortunately, the laws that time were reading correct. It said the CPA shall clear. For me, I, I had read, read it very well. I went to my take and I got my document. He was a CPA at that time. I kept it in my pocket. Then the president said, Wait, what's CPA? He thought that he, he, for chief of personal administration mm. of the army, the president thought that in order to stand, he had to get his clearance. So when all the half souls and the tuffles were on, when I looked at the guy, called me and said, the president should, said you should not st stand. I said, why? said, you need clearance from him. I said, no, that's not what the law reads. Immediately after that, the law was amended. You know, <laughs> let me get back to this. How long are you going to fight in one position when you know very well this position continues to fully deny you? So, like I was saying, at least I moved one step. I left the army. Now I can come here and even call President Museven Museven. That's mm -hmm. a lot of, although mm. he's, a, he's my commander. I must tell you, respect is certainly very, very important. But I want to tell you, I am completely different. Mm. Then the other people come up and say, you how could you have campaigned for him? Imagine somebody who has been in the door drums for those many years incarcerated. I don't know what. In court every day. All about me was the dark picture of Tumkundi. Don't you think I had to use some advantages to amend it? To put things correct? One of them, for example, was campaigning the Republic of Uganda on and across. If people cheat you, you may also learn to cheat them. Mm. By the way, so I took this advantage. I improved my image from Tumukunde, the incarcerated Tumukunde, the suppressed Tumukunde, the besieged Tumukunde, the harassed Tumukunde, the, the, the begging, you know, begging for survival and, and life. And then this time, I was Tumukunde, rounding Ugandans. In the, and I even used that opportunity and became a minister for one year and eight months. Mm. You know, sometimes I, maybe... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's a, it's I, a question of how you want to tap these, these circumstances. In that very I, year, I was about to ask, did he suspect you that you have this? Yes, yes, that's why he only allowed you one year. Whatever his suspicions were, mm. at least some things you never notice about me. One person cabinet to shuffle. Of course, he had also intended to bundle me with Kehura and throw us in one pool. Mm. Fortunately, Ugandans distinguish things. We all have our own cases. I have mine. Kehura had his. We are all being judged, fortunately, differently. Mm. So my main issue is, <laughs> do you want to be the master designer about things that continue to handcap you, or you need to act like a steel road driving through a wall? If Ugandans do not understand me about this, I apologize entirely. Mm. But I can also tell you, at least in my own case, I'm different. I can come here. Of course, it doesn't stop President M7. I'm told all my escorts were taken to Mbia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no more reshuffle. No, no. It was a, a no more reshuffle. They, they were taken to their units. Now they've been corrected and uh, you can imagine the innocent we'll young people, one the innocent one. ones who yeah. just guard you because they have been posted to you. They don't even know you. But all this is a process of intimidation and torment. So now, that is my explanation about some of these things. Mm. But also, there is also my records. Why don't you take them on? 
if I can stand in those kind of circumstances as one of your cartoon to us saying, ask him the circumstances. And I come up and say, I will not support term limits. Gentlemen, give it, to, give it to them. <laughs> I, you can even see the designs. The designs quickly. Yes, give me what is mine. Why do you really hang me where I don't have to be? And I'm not bullying anybody. I'm only struggling to explain myself in circumstances where Ugandans are not fond of understanding fundamentals. And not the Ugandans that me, 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 I know. They actually, those who own the cerebral capacity to differentiate things are the ones most misusing it. Actually, other Ugandans understand me, as you will see. Mm. If I negotiate and I'm the presidential candidate, I'll give you a I want to comment on uh, the divisions in the NRM and the data uh, my brother, Moses. Mr. Yaranga, was bringing out. Ugandans, by the way, are under squad. When we all disagree, they still vote one person. The one they think is, 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 is capable of mm. delivering what they want. In many of these circumstances, there has been many candidates, but still Ugandans vote only one. Mm. So actually, these divisions you are so concerned about, they They're are not actually them. effective. And maybe them. I should also ask uh, one of your hunger. I don't expect an answer from him today. And I know he may not find it easy to give the, the answer. Is it about the figures? Is it about the numbers? Is it about the data? Don't you know that other things influence these elections? Sure. Why don't you? Why do you? Why do you stick it to the data? No, but the, the, <laughs> yes. the data is always the best start one. It's not, not about, about the it. figures. Mm. And I'm glad Semuju, when I was Semuju Uganda gave us a very good example of Chadon. And there was all that was done to stop Chadon from being Chadon. Of course, by the way, it also included the divisions within NRM. Some NRM was financed Chad, 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 Chad. Mm. Can you imagine? By the way, NRM, when they talk on surface, yeah. it is the, 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 the famous saying among the Wanyankuri that those who see me walking think I'm blossoming in comfort. But those who know me, is that I'm really struggling to live. NRM is fatally divided. Mm. The only thing that keeps them together is that they think they can chance it winning an election by associating with this mass party. Yeah, yeah, but inside true. them, mm. ay, 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 ay. Just in about, fact, I want to, re to repeat one thing I found in NRM on my return in 2016. Everyone was a suspect. Can you imagine? Mm. This is a Baba's man. This is what. Some of them have started talking yesterday. People were submerged in total. You know, you know somebody imparting mistrust on you and you feel to find space in these circumstances. That's why I was the most plausible person to campaign for them. Others were in total. Everyone was a suspect. It was confusion. But anyway. The, the I don't suspect, i.e. that they support Mbabazi. Exactly. Yes. Mm. And Mbabazi was really blossoming on it giving clear impression that all the structures... Can you imagine even the register of the party? The register of the party. No one even knows where it is up to today. So, but let me also push another important point. As we come into this, we do want to appreciate the privileges where we served. You see, I, I want to be like the drunkard who became a Morocco. And then they were sniffing him and this, this drunkard said, where I came from, they still want me. I can go back. <laughs> you can imagine. Why do we sniff each other? Why do we... You know, the more principal can kill anything good, especially when... And in any case, if I may ask, as the Nafi stated very well, must all we fully trust each other? Are you sure all NRMs trust each other, including trusting their leadership? Why must we why must we drill so much on whether I am trustable, whether I'm dependable? Let me tell Vice you. Vice President talk to NRM you say you, you come and count purpose. Talk to NRM talk yeah, to NRM in the evening. Mm -hmm. All this you see talking. All of them are nungunikaring, you can't even believe. He's deeply complaining, actually. Mm -hmm. we, sometimes with this guy. So, let's use that, such times for correct uh, purposes. Let's mm -hmm. use it for good time.
I call on opposition, forget about how we defer. And we always imagine we shall continue to defer. When you see Kenyans coming together, do not ever believe it's because they are always together. Mm. They find it convenient to work together for a particular, sometimes tactical purpose. For example, I know very well, I traveled with a Kenyan a general to Arusha when things were very bad for Kanu. And this just said, uh, uh, one of them said, uh, uh, Kanu can't be defeated, we have our money. I said, are you sure? Then now on return, I came with another general, and we met one of the candidates, and I don't want to tell the state and so on. I said, hey, this guy, you mean this candidate is voting? He says, we shall vote anything. You can see the two differing <laughs> positions. Mm. Don't get, ever be worried about this. Just simply come together for even a tactical purpose. It doesn't even stop us from deferring tomorrow, because in politics there is no permanent and pensionable positions. Even for those who want to become president to the, the next day, you are not all too old anyway. Sanders, I think, is 79, I think. The youngest is Trump. I'm telling you, the young, <laughs> paradoxically, the youngest is with Trump. Yes. Tomorrow, there are other opportunities. For now, let's rally around somebody who would say that's true. And once that is done, we can even afford to defer tomorrow. Mm. Thank you very much. Honorable yes. Samuju, we are now about to start conclusions. You start no, no, no. yours. Samuju has been nankari. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm saying Samuju has been No, no, no. You see, the moment, the moment you want How to be... the Brexit? The, the moment you, you want to be... Voted for Brexit. Yeah. The moment you want to be a leader, first you must prepare for criticism. Fair and unfair. And actually, the moment you seek to lead a group, that group will legitimately pose questions. I am glad that the Honorable Lieutenant General Henry Tumukonde has started answering some of those questions. From my privileged position as a journalist, I have known Tumukonde a bit in public but also in private. I know what he has been saying in, in, in some of those meetings. I remember one of them, he may not know that we got to know it. When they went to meet Mr. Sam Seven as chiefs, when UPDF had uh, imported expired food, and all the chiefs in the military kept quiet. His only to Mukunde was asking Mr. Seven because Mr. Seven picked a tin to test the food. Only to Mukunde asked him why he was risking his life. So the other chiefs came back saying, "We are holding our heads," as to Mukunde was asking. <laughs> so this this the life he has lived. So someone who doesn't go beyond what is in the public, you will never understand to Mukonde. But also some of the positions, you may, from your training, have taken them for tactical reasons. For us, we will not go into the tactics. We will just take them by their face value that Mukonde has been here, and now he has gone back to work with him seven. The moment you begin explaining, uh, then people will understand. So that's the point I made earlier. And I said, okay, we will, we will question the welcome you. So, so the moment you answer the questions, even even the best you went through that, mm. uh, the owner of Abdul Katundu said so here. But later, people who were asking him questions at the beginning, we are the ones now climbing the same podium with him. So you need to prepare for this, because certainly, legitimately, you will have to answer these questions. You are seeking not to lead a group, but later also to lead a country where we are citizens. Um, there is absolutely there is absolutely no doubt that. Uh, Mr. Seven is not the Seven of 1996. He's still just holding on to the state. And that is where all of us have a weakness. Uh, because we, we must work so hard to defeat him, but also to work so hard to make it difficult for him to announce himself. Chibaki lost the elections and announced himself. <laughs> and even organized the swearing in the ceremony. Mm. The chairman of the electoral commission then in Kenya, Chivuitu, was asked and he said, I don't know who won. But it, he was at the swearing in the ceremony of a person saying, I don't know who won. So we face this reality that you're going to face M7 who can rig elections when he fails, who can announce himself. That's why we need to mobilize the country a lot to make it risky for M7 to cling on to power. For us as FDC, that's what we, we, we've been doing. We think that the citizens must be empowered. You raise the level of civic competence, and then they will know they are not doing this thing for SJ or for Semuju. They are doing it for themselves.